Hi, I'm Olivia, and today I'm going to be reading Champ and Major First Dogs by Joy McCullough. Champ waits patiently while his dad works. But when work is over, it's time to play. Champ's dad has a really important job, and so does Champ. Champ's job is to make sure his dad doesn't work all the time. It's a really big job for one dog. After a while, a new dog comes to help. Major isn't much help at first, but Champ can show him the ropes. Champ teaches Major everything he knows. Major doesn't need lessons on how to be a good friend. With Champ's help, soon Major is ready. And just in time, because their family's job is about to get even more important. Champ has visited the White House before, when his dad was vice president. Everyone there does important work, but they always have time to say hello. Champ can't wait to show Major around. And this time, they're home. The next book I'm going to be reading is Bear Island by Matthew Cordell. On a lake, there was a house. There was Louise, Mom, and Dad. There was Charlie. On that lake, there was an island. After breakfast, Louise put on her boots and cap. I'm going out on the boat, she said. Louise thought about Charlie, how he loved the water, how he loved the breeze on his face, how he loved to explore the island. Louise tied up the boat. It was quiet on the island. She looked around. After a long time alone, she picked up a stick and thwacked a tree. I'm leaving, she announced. When suddenly, all around there were butterflies, circling, flying, flitting about. A chipmunk came to investigate. A couple of deer sprang from the bush and approached carefully and curiously. Something new and good was happening on the island. Something new and good was happening in Louise. But then came a noise. A crunching of leaves noise. A snapping of trees noise. A chuffing of breath noise. Louise staggered back, afraid. Afraid, yet angry. Angry to be made afraid. Angry about Charlie. Angry about here, now, and before. The bear sank down to the ground. Louise crept back to the boat. Before going away, she looked again. This bear, a familiar feeling, a familiar sadness. The next day and the days after that, Louise returned to the island. Some days only Louise was better. Some days only Bear was better. Then some days and more and more days, both Louise and Bear became better, together. They were changing on the island. And they were changing at home. Winter was coming. The days were getting shorter, but Louise continued to visit the island. Until one morning, Bear was not there. She searched everywhere. At last she found him, preparing his den, ready to bed down for winter. Don't go, Louise begged, but it was time for Bear to sleep. Goodbye, Bear. It's not fair, thought Louise when the things we love must end. But sometimes the end is also a beginning. On the first warm day of spring, Louise and Millie took the boat to the island. Millie did not love the water. She did not love the wind in her face, but she did love to explore. They searched everywhere for Bear, but he wasn't there. Had he ever been? Louise thought for a while, then she rowed the boat back home.
as she smiled.